Okay, 10.07, 10.1. Now, here's the thing. Primordial Stones, and uh, what do you call it? The Onyx Anulet. Here's the thing. We all know by now, it has player power. Three stones into a ring with power on. Blizzard has stated several times in... Even, even Ian has cost us in interviews that this ring will be replaced in 10.1, right? So there was a question about this ring and about 10.1 and season 2. In general, he said that most players that enter high keys in 10.1 will replace them pretty fast. Most players that go high will replace them very fast. And of course, that's not only high keys, that's also high, like, myth grading, right? Other players will replace them later on. It's not intended that you go back to 10.07 and grab the ring if you jump in back, if you jump back to the game at 10.1. So let's say you're not playing at 10.07. You start playing at 10.1. You are not supposed to go back and grab the ring, okay? And he also says that some specs benefit more than others, of course. Now let's take a look at that. Now, this page was made by Wowhead. Best primordial stones in Dragonfly. They have a table where they show every spec and every class the best stones for them. But I'm not I'm not looking into that. What got my my eyes and my brain was on the side here. They have actually added item level, a prox ring item level. We all know that you go up all the way to 424 on these. That's the highest eye level you get. And that's what they put into account here. So for example, a Blood Death Knight, the power on it will be as if it's a 420. A Frost DK, the power on it is as if it's a 400 eye level ring. Same thing for Unholy. So even though it's 424 eye level on it, power is as, as if it's a 400 one of another type of ring that, that has stats and stuff. Then you go down and see the other ones. Resto Druid, 450. Preservation Evoker, 450. Marksmanship Hunter, 500. I live. So we write, for example, for example, Marksmanship Hunter. The ring has a power of a 500 I level ring. Survival, 400. Arcane Mage, 460. Fire Mage, 418. Frost Mage, 390. And that's why I said before when I was making the ring two seconds ago, and I said, I'm making this ring, but the ring is so bad anyway. On my frost mage the ring has a power of a 390 eye level ring and i think that's the lowest we can find so frost mage actually has the lowest one i don't think it's anything lower than that brewmaster 415 mist weaver 450 windwalker is 421 holy pala 450 prot 424 retry 421 disc priest 450 holy 450 shadow priest 390 so they are as bad as frost mage assassination rogue 450 outlaw 421 sub 421 elemental chamois 418 enhancement 431, 412, depends on what you do. Resto Shami, 48. Affliction, 415. Demonology, 421. Destro, 415. And then we have the Warriors. All Warriors spec is 415. Let's count how many 450s we got, just, just out of curiosity. 1, 2, or 450 plus. Let's do like that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 specs have 4 50 eye level or above 450 eye level plus one of them has even 500 eye level okay now we have this in front of us let's take a look at 10.1 before we do that remember this ring will re replace 10.1 that's that's literally what they what 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 was stated it's also stated you are not supposed to go back to 1007 to grab the ring so if you come back to the game at 10.1 you're not supposed to go back and grab the ring let's look at 10.1 so this one's stand made on icv what do we have here raid find the difficulty 402 and it can get upgraded we have looked at these upgrades and stuff we have we have done we have done uh, a guide about it on the website we've done a video about it and talked about it on stream so we're not going to mention anything about that now but you can upgrade gear in 10.1 402 plus lfr 415 plus normal mode 428 plus is heroic raid and 441 is mythic that's raiding and they also also made a table for M plus 398 to 441 M plus dungeon, but 408 to 447 is the weekly vault. So the maximum we can get is 447. So basically, the max I level in 10.1 is. 447 I love we haven't looked at the crafting stuff and stuff yet but I don't think that it's gonna come up above the above the weekly vault now if you look at this blood decays 420 that's the power of the ring as if it's a 420 ring with stats and stuff that will go up to above normal raid so yeah eventually you will replace it based on what you do if you do only normal, then your blood, the, the, as a blood DK, your ring will be better. If, you, if you're not going to do more than higher than normal rating, your ring will be better. Frost and Unholy, the ring sucks for you guys. 
So yeah, whatever you're gonna do, even LFR, you're gonna get start, start getting better. Havoc Demon Hunter, 431. Heroic Gear is 428 plus. So around Heroic, you're gonna start replacing that when you start getting something from Heroic and you upgrade it. Vengeance, 418. At normal raid, you will start replacing it. Balance, same. Feral, 431. You might replace it if you do only Heroic as highest. I'm saying only, but you know what I mean. Guardian Druid, you're gonna use yours the entire heroic. Maybe into Mythic if you're gonna start doing Mythic. Resto Druid, 450. There's nothing in 10.1 that is better than your ring. Even if you get the ring from Weekly Vault 447, your ring from 1007 is still better. Devastation Evoker, 418. Same thing there, no, around normal, you're gonna start replacing. Preservation Evoker, you will have that ring the entire 10.1 season. Beastmaster, 421 around normal raid marksmanship hunter the power of your ring is 53 eye levels higher than the highest eye level in 10.1 arcane mage 460 you don't need a new ring well need one but not the second one you have so much higher eye level power on your ring compared to the highest you can get from next season frost mage big rip there replace it directly replaced already now even mist weaver monk you will have better you will never replace it next season holy pala will never replace it next season this priest will never replace next season. Holy priest will never replace it. Assassination rogue, maybe they're gonna replace it if they're gonna do, you know, they might be lucky and get something from the weekly vault. So yeah, there it is, guys. So basically, most of these guys will replace it around normal slash heroic rating or pretty high keys, pretty high keys. You're gonna replace them that are doing high stuff. Most of you guys will not replace this one. If we talk about most of the player base in general that play World of Warcraft, Hey, you're not gonna replace this ring. Never. And most of you guys don't even do normal raid, you know? So, so, so you're, gonna, you're gonna be this this ring as is is so good for you. For me personally, well it depends on what play what they're gonna play. Let's say I play my red my, my red or prot pala. 424, 421. Man, maybe I won't even replace it. If I get a ring that is higher than this eye level on heroic mode, yeah, I probably will. At heroic mode, I'm gonna replace this ring. So uh, if we go back to this one again, this ring will be replaced in 10.1. You are not supposed to go back to 1007 to grab the ring. Ask yourself, is that true? You, you, you're not supposed to go and grab that ring? Of course you are. We're gonna erase that out of the system. The only time that that is true, what they have said about the power on these rings is if they're gonna nerf the rings before 10.1. If we see nerfs, yes, then no one needs to think about the rings at all. But if no nerfs will come, then it's not true. You know, that is not true.